Good morning. This half term, our value is responsibility. And this week's focus is, I take responsibility for my equipment, my classroom, my school, and the world around me. So how can you be responsible for equipment, your classroom and your school? Well, here are some suggestions. Look after things. Look after pens and pencils. Put them away when you've used them. If your pencil needs sharpening, then you can do that yourself. If it's a pen, for example, a felt tip or a board marker that runs out if there's no lid, make sure that you put the lid on it. Look after books. Put them away when you finish using them. Use them carefully to make sure that they're in good condition for if you or another person wants to use them again. Don't waste paper. Put your rubbish in the bin. If you use a cup or a plate, you could wash it up yourself when you're finished and put it away. Look after your uniform and, for example, if you take your jumper off, make sure you know where you can find it again. It's always a good idea to put your name in your jumper. If you wear glasses or hearing aids or something similar, make sure that you bring them or that you're wearing them. And if you use a PEX book, try your best to use it properly and take it with you when you move to a different room. Remember things that you need, such as your swimming kit or your PE kit. Move responsibly and move carefully around the classroom. That helps to keep everybody safe. So just walk around school. And when you're outside, use the outside equipment safely and play responsibly outside. If you use something like a football, look, look after it, bring it back in so that it doesn't get ruined. And particularly at the moment, but all the time, it's important to be hygienic. So remember things like washing your hands frequently throughout the day. So we've talked about how to be responsible for our immediate environment, that's our classroom and our school, but how can we show that we're responsible for the world around us? Well, firstly, show respect, show respect to other people and things. Be polite, use good manners. Help others. Don't drop litter. Always put your rubbish in the bin. And if there's no bin nearby, take it with you. Recycle. Loads of materials can be recycled. And that's better than just putting it, putting it in the bin. When you're not using the lights or other electrical equipment, switch them off. Don't waste electricity. And the same with the tap. When you're not using it, make sure that it is fully switched off. Don't waste water. And in fact, don't waste anything. And when you're out and about, treat um, the environment and treat equipment, such as a play, if you're in the playground, treat the play equipment with respect. Use things properly. So why is it important for us to be responsible for these things? Well, Firstly, things will be there when you need them. And things will be in good condition when you need them because they will have been looked after. And people, including you, will feel safer and happier. Resources, the things that we need to use, will last longer and that's resources in school and also resources on the planet and your environment will look better. So that's your classroom environment, your school environment, your town, your local area. If everybody treats 
the, all these things with respect and is responsible, then they will look better. And really important, if you're responsible, people are more likely to trust you. So this story is called The Two Lumberjacks. So obviously it's not about looking after things in school, but it is about looking after equipment. It was the annual lumberjack competition and the final was between an older, experienced lumberjack and a younger, stronger lumberjack. The rule of the competition was quite simply, who could fell the most trees in a day was the winner. The younger lumberjack was full of enthusiasm and went off into the wood and set to work straight away. He worked all through the day and all through the night, and as he worked, he could hear the older lumberjack working in another part of the forest, and he felt more and more confident with every tree he felled that he would win. At regular intervals throughout the day, the noise of trees being felled coming from the other part of the forest would stop. The younger lumberjack took heart from this, knowing that this meant that the older lumberjack was taking a rest, whereas he could use his superior youth and strength and stamina to keep going. At the end of the competition, the younger lumberjack felt confident that he had won. He looked in front of him at the piles of fell trees that were the result of his superhuman effort. At the medal ceremony, he felt confident and was expecting to be awarded the prize of champion lumberjack. Next to him stood the older lumberjack who looked surprisingly less exhausted than he expected. When the results were read out, he was devastated to hear that the older lumberjack had chopped down significantly more trees than he had. He turned to the older lumberjack and said, How can this be? I heard you take a rest every hour and I worked continuously through the night. What's more, I'm stronger and fitter than you, old man. The older lumberjack turned to him and said, Every hour I took a break to rest and sharpen my axe. So it's really important to take responsibility for looking after things. This week, show that you can take responsibility for your equipment, your classroom, your school and the world around you.